Hey what's up guys in this video we're gonna talk about scope in javascript so in javascript scope determines the visibility and accessibility of any variable so there are three types of scope in javascript we have the block scope we have the function scope and the global scope so first of all let's talk about the block scope so the variables declared inside a block has the block scope like an example if we create one variable x with the value one now if we try to access that from outside of this block so you can see we're getting this reference error x is not defined because x has the visibility within this block so we cannot access that value from outside of this block and also if we use const for that we will get the same error but if we use var then we can successfully access that because var does not have any block scope so even though we are declaring that variable within this block it has the scope outside of this block and next we have the function scope so variables declared within a function has function scope and they are not accessible from outside of the function like an example we have this function test and inside the function we are going to create one variable y with the value 1 now if we try to access that value from outside of the function so you can see we are getting this reference error so in function scope the variables are created when the function starts and deleted when the function completed so the y has visibility within this function scope so if we use const instead of the let we'll get the same error and also if we use var we are gonna get the same error var let and const have the similar visibility in case of the function scope and next we have the global scope so variables declared outside of any block or function scope has global scope and the global variables can be accessed from anywhere in a javascript program like in example we can use let and we can declare one variable and now we can access this variable from within a block so you can see we can access that and also we can access that value from inside of a function so we can console log the value of z so we can access the global variable from within a block and also from the function scope also so if we use let or if we use const or if we use var all of them have the similar scope so in javascript we have the block scope with the least visibility and then we have the function scope and then we have the global scope with the highest visibility where the variables can be accessed from anywhere in a javascript program so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one take care